Well, here we are. It's uh, November, beginning of November. It's getting a bit cold. It's going to get very cold. And I think we're in for a little hurricane, actually. We are threatened. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are. But we're um, down here now in a lady's garden. Um, it's a husband and wife who are mad keen gardeners. And um, they've used old... Um, they have dogs, don't they? They have dogs. They have and they've decided dogs. their dogs, they were going to um, try and lock their dogs up in a certain part of the garden, stop the dogs eating everything. But anyway, the dogs were far too clever, jumped over. So they decided, what are we going to do with all this stuff we're after buying in the hardware store? So what they did was, they've made a place for leaves. Now, Susan, you tell me oh, about this. This is... Like it's even compacting already. It's compacting already. This is going to be leaf mould for the garden to nourish the soil, to aerate it, to bring in what you need from your soil, the sort of microbes that you need in the top surface of the soil and worms and things. So this will be left here to rot down. I mean, it's such a big heap that you could leave it for a year anyway, or more even if you wanted to. Well, can I just say something, just I don't know whether the camera can see. Now, this, this was only done about a week ago. And look how, how yeah, it's all it's beginning to sort of to sort of scrunch so up. So yeah. that's sort of mulchy and um, yeah. What colour would it go? It should go a nice sort of deep brown, crumbly um, texture when you're when you're taking. So it out. when that's all worked its way through, yeah, you put it back into you every put part it back of the into garden. The soil, you mulch the soil with it, or you work it gently into the surface. Or when you're planting something new, you can and work if you're planting in pots and stuff, can you use um, it? In days Mix of old, so, so you know we're so, so used to going out and buying a bag of compost in the garden centre now that's not yeah. peat-based, or now we're getting non-peat-based ones. But in days of old, people made their own potting compost with a mixture of leaf mould, garden soil, little so, manure, and things. Right, okay. So it was part of making compost, and probably it's used in some of the commercial composts. Well, isn't it just such a practical, it's a practical thing to do? Thing. Instead of putting your garden. leaves into a black plastic bag, yeah. which is not um, its not environmentally friendly anymore yeah. to use black plastic bags. And not to, really. if, you know, if you haven't access, if, you have, if you're not able to get the bags that we have for sale, yeah. which are the, what do we call they're them? They're Hessian. They're Hessian bags for Hessian leaves, bag. um, which will, um, they're, they're um, have we got any of the bags here actually? Um, the Hessian bags in our pockets. I haven't got one in my pocket. I'll moment, go and get one, Susan. Okay, you can you continue one, yeah. to tell them on camera about this. But it's really, this obviously is a large garden, so hence the fact of a, a large um, leaf mold cage. And you can keep adding to it as well because it's beginning to sink down all the time. So you can keep adding more to it as it goes. And the, the other thing is you could perhaps start a second one, moisten this, put a, something over it to keep the excess rain out and then start a second one. But it's going to make terrific nutrient for the soil. I'm coming back oh, she's in coming here. coming back with my with I'm coming name. back yep. in. Now, and these this. are for sale on the site, yep. and the reason why we're selling these is because these are really a good thing for the environment. They are terrific, and for a small garden where you haven't room for something like this, yeah. and, you know, without it being obvious, you gather up your leaves, you pop this in the corner of the garden, and leave them to rot down. Because, like here, you're getting air through here into the compost, or into the leaves here, the air is the going, air is going yeah. through too. Yeah. Um, did you say, Susan, that you put something on top of this? Well, Do I'm you? just thinking, with a normal compost heap, eventually when you've filled it up, you sort of moisten it slightly, and then you put maybe, it might be old carpet, it might be on top of, on it. Top of it to sort of keep excess moisture out. Oh, with I this, see. it's not absolutely necessary. You can just leave it open and just let it get on with it. So we'll have to tell her then, maybe, should we? That I, she should so I think she's probably well used to sort of dealing with these things but it'll sink down and sink down so you can add add some more so you it. can keep yeah. yeah so you might mm -hmm. think it's full but actually it's, it'll go it'll way down sinking down yeah oh, it's, it's a brilliant idea yeah. absolutely and brilliant. because it's because it's straight onto the ground you see worms and things are going to come up from inside and they literally digest this and sort of it passes amazing. through them and turns into soil coming out the other absolutely end. amazing <laughs> you learn something new every day you do